Well guys and girls, I've ridden the Rocket 3R before, but never the Rocket 3 GT. So today I'm on that bike, and if you want to hear more about mine and Ruby's trip into London, stick around. So we're currently heading to the M1. Heading straight towards London Town. London Town. Oh, these are big girls to get round these roundabouts. Ooh. Oh, Lord have mercy. Yeah. Oh, the acceleration. have you got him? Three bob. Huh? Three bob. Oh. I've got six bars. It should be all right, right? Right guys, so I'm here with Ruby Rides. We're on two rockets. We've got big fat booties. So Ruby is on the Rocket 3R. So she's got mid pegs and she's got bars, which are a bit further forward. I am on the Rocket 3 GT, which has got this little setup. It's got foot pegs further out, and the bars are much more swoopy. Huh? Ah, oh, yeah, nice one, Ruby. And I've got a screen. <laughs> So these are both of them from the front. We've got different wheels as well to what Ruby has. But yeah, these are 2.5 litre engines. Absolute behemoths. Now I do have uh, Rocket 3R content. I've got three videos, so I will link them in the video description. But yeah, this is just me trying out the Rocket 3 GT and seeing what I think in comparison to the R. So one of the things which I don't think I ever showed you guys in my other videos is how amazingly engineered these foot pegs are for a pillion. Like one minute they're there, next minute they're gone. I think that is bloody class. But yeah, just to reiterate, 165 brake horsepower, 221 newton meters of torque. Yeah, the wheels, definitely different. You've got the uh, aluminium, and then you've got the all black. Here she is, crazy lady of the hour, rapid Ruby. <laughs> Which way? Back round? No, just that way. Oh, that way. Okay, cool. Let's go. Now they're not the uh, easiest to bank round at roundabout. Got a big 240 rear, very large turning circle. So 
far, what do I think of the GT? Well, as I'm sure I mentioned in my past videos, I love the R, I love the position of the foot pegs, but I found the bars to be quite a reach. We got a closed road, a nice little spanner it works for us, no dramas. There we go, easy does it, easy does it, ah, oh, crikey. So yeah guys, one thing that I found when I had the Rocket 3R was I quite enjoyed where the pegs were but I didn't very much enjoy where the bars were I felt like they were a bit of a reach, a bit of a stretch for me whereas I much prefer the bars on the GT and I honestly thought I would prefer the position of the pegs on the GT as well but actually riding it I think I prefer the foot position of the well the foot peg position on the R the more mid position as opposed to feet in front because these bikes have acceleration that would send shivers down the devil's spine on the motorway what I tended to find was I felt the wind getting under my foot and pushing it up skywards which I didn't really like that sensation <laughs> let me know if you own a, a Rocket 3 GT and you've experienced that <laughs> I can't keep up with Ruby on the road she's feral she's feral she's wild but yeah, getting back on the Rocket 3, even a GT has just made me re remember like how absolutely incredulous that torque is. It's insane. slip road wow ruby's in race position she's hanging off she's hanging off she's <laughs> oh she's funny got big ass lorries we got bright lights it's all going on it's all going on. Ruby really said, wham bam, how's your mum? But yeah, the talk on these things is just ungodly. It's ungodly, it's unholy.
Wait, no, that's New York, isn't it? Not London. Oh my god. What a ditz. So yeah, so far, I'd say, prefer the GT bars and the Rocket 3 pegs. And I think if I was to have a choice, I would just get a Rocket 3R and maybe put these bars on it. Oh, I feel like this is looking a bit more London-y. Central London, nine miles away. Guys, let me know in the comments below if you've ridden the Rocket 3R or the GT, or what did you prefer? Ruby Rages, not Ruby Rides. It's not a ride like a London rider. Wild. Well guys, this is the big smoke. The big bloody smoke. You know you're in London when you see lots of red buses. You know you're in London when there's lots of skyscrapers. And let's go baby. And let's go baby girl. Hee hee. Bam 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 bam. Ooh. Oh. Look at this. It's all just working out so beautifully. So this brings me to the end of the Rocket 3 GT video. Honestly, I thought I would enjoy the Rocket 3 GT a lot more than I actually did because as you guys know, I've ridden the Rocket 3R and I did complain of my arms being a little bit stretched out. Where the seat is in relation to the bars for my small frame and short limbs, I did find it a bit of a not so much a struggle but it was definitely something that I was aware of when I was riding that I was a little bit more leaned forward than I would have liked to have been and I thought that with the swept back bars which are a bit closer to the rider that this would sort of eliminate any issues that I had so I thought that the Rocket 3 GT would be the Rocket 3 for me just because I figured the bars that are closer to the rider would give me a bit more comfort when riding Unfortunately, I didn't gel with the feet forward riding position as much as I thought I would. I don't know whether my legs are a little bit too short, which makes reaching for the gear and the brake pedal a little bit difficult. But for me, it was more so with the insane acceleration on the motorway. I would feel the wind getting under the balls of my feet and pushing them skywards, which was a bit of a strange and not the most comfortable thing to experience. So I definitely feel that if I was to go down the Rocket 3 route, I would get a Rocket 3R and I would probably put on the GT bars. The seat height of the Rocket 3R is perfect for me, even though I'm aware that the GT is slightly lower. On the Rocket 3R, the height is more than manageable for me. So yeah, it was a strange outcome because I expected to ride that day and think, yeah, this is the one for me. But it just reaffirmed my love for the Rocket 3R. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this short video. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye.